So I'm an associate professor in the Department of Environmental Earth and Geospatial Science. Um, we're a combined department with traditional geography, geology, and the geoscience concentration, uh, combined with environmental science, and then we also have an environmental health concentration. So recently, we just got approved to offer our geoscience concentration completely online. Um, now, the geoscience concentration it focuses more on geographic information systems, uh, remote sensing, which would be kind of the uh, digital photography or the satellite imagery. Uh, we still offer traditional geography classes like social geography, economic geography, political geography, and relevant time, um, and then traditional geology classes like physical geography, earth science, geology, those types of things. What is the reach of that data? Reach meaning what is the... Um, it was the... It started in 1970. Every single year since then, every single year since then, the entire globe has been mapped. Where is that money coming from? Exactly. Your digital infrastructure. So in addition to our uh, degree, uh, both at the undergraduate and graduate level, we also have a certificate program in geospatial intelligence. So that is where students get training for um, jobs in the FBI, in uh, CIA, and in the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency. So they basically combine the skills in GIS, remote sensing, satellite data, drones, all that stuff. They combine and get knowledge and certificate and they do a capstone project in geospatial intelligence so that they can work in these federal agencies. In the Department of Environmental Earth and Geospatial Science, we've got a number of careers for students. Uh, currently, my specialty is in GIS, which is Geographic Information Systems. So that entails all of the geographic spatial data used to, uh, that you use in your phones. We have students who work for the city of Durham. We have st students who work for uh, Lowe's who make decisions about where to build the next Lowe's and using demographic data, spending data, and uh, a lot of different other types of data. We have students who work for the North Carolina Department of Transportation who maintain all the spatial database to analyze where we're going to build the next rows, roads and decisions about those. Typically, uh, for a GIS technician, starting salaries are probably in the mid $40,000 a year, and they work their way up. So in management positions, they're typically you know, high five figures, low six figures. Uh, on a regular basis, Dr. McGinn, Dr. Maholter, and I, we, we, we send out regular announcements about current jobs, internship opportunities. Currently, there's the NCDOT internship opportunities that, that's opening up in the summer. And then the North Carolina internship program, which is open to all NCCU students, is currently open up. And we try to push students in that direction as a kind of conduit to their career. To me, geography is really interesting. When I took geography in the 1990s, it was about memorizing countries and capitals. And we've evolved from countries and capitals to data-driven decision making. And our department talks about how to manage analyze, render the data so that students can make decisions. And Hi, I'm Dr. Chris Azarzar, assistant professor here in the Department of Environmental Earth and Geospatial Sciences. I teach courses in uh, a variety of earth sciences, including earth science itself, geology, oceanography, online weather, climatology. Uh, my background is in meteorology. I do quite a bit of research with the land and atmosphere interactions and how that affects rainfall. And part of that is using drones to understand boundary layer. These systems can be used in a variety of applications from public health to criminal justice to understanding scientific realms and the other possibilities and physics of our environment. So what we like to explore is the different applications of UAS and using unmanned aerial systems as a conduit for exploration and unlocking creativity in understanding where this technology can be applied across a variety of sciences and public health applications. <laughs>